guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be bringing you guys this glowy glitz glam spring dewy look. This is what it looks like. I personally love it. Some of these products I have not used before, so it's kind of like a first impression try on situation going on. But if you guys want to see how I got this look and what products I use, then let's just go ahead and get started. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. I am so excited for the spring. You have no idea. Not only is it better weather, but it is also when my birthday is. My birthday is in April and I'm normally super excited and pumped for my birthday, but I don't know what I wanna do this year, so that's kind of a downfall. So first things first, you always wanna moisturize. I'm using the Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer. I really like this stuff. And for the super dewy, glowy, glam, glitz look for the spring, I'm gonna use a Radiance Primer, which this one is the Smashbox one. What I find super helpful as well out of using a like really glowy, dewy primer is going in with a dewy or or luminous prime, uh, primer water. So I really like the Tatcha but this is expensive as hell. Um, so this was like $30. I don't know why I bought this, but I like it, but not enough to buy the full size. I also really like the Smashbox Primer Water. This is a good one. Or you can just use like any setting spray, which this is the Morphe one, and I love this stuff. We're gonna use mainly cream products because that is what you want for like dewy, glowy, beautiful skin. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I haven't used this just yet, but I've heard amazing things about this foundation. And I just picked it up yesterday because I really wanted to film this video. I might be putting on too much, but we will see. Um, I really wanted to try it out and here we go. It's only $12, which is insane. And I also picked up the L'Oreal concealer. It's like a new concealer and everybody is comparing it to Shape Tape, which what the hell? Shape Tape is almost $30, this was $10. So my first impression of the foundation is that it is actually really pretty. I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit more and blend it out and I'm just gonna fast forward this part. I'm done blending in the foundation and my first impression is that I really like it. It's a little dry, um, but I think that's only because my skin is super dry right now. So um, I definitely went in and sprayed a little bit of this on my um, Real Technique sponge just to blend it out and make sure that I didn't look too matte because I want to look nice and dewy and fresh. I definitely do think that it's full coverage. That is um, amazing for a foundation that's only $12.99. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And this actually is not my shade at all, but I use this to cream contour. I love this stuff. It is super inexpensive and it works amazing. So I'm gonna go in and contour all of my areas. This is just what I like to do. And during the summer and spring, spring I love looking bronze and dewy and glowy, which I'm sure you guys do too. So contour yourself. Next, we're gonna try out another new product, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And this is all of the hype everywhere because it's supposed to be better than Shape Tape or similar or the dupe. This was $12.99 at CVS here. And I'm just gonna go in and highlight all of my points. So first things first, I know that this is super duper light. So I'm gonna go in with a light hand first. And then if I have to build it up, I will obviously build it up. But holy cannoli, that's a lot. Okay, so there is, whoa, that's a lot of coverage from a tiny little dabble of it. Okay, so a little goes a long way. <laughs> um, a tip for spring makeup and looking dewy and glowy is that you definitely want to highlight your forehead because you just contoured this, it kind of looks like a little halo here. 
It just really brightens up your face and makes you look like fresh and clean and awake. At least that's what I feel. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this and I will fast forward you guys. So that is it completely blended out and look how nice and bright and everything is coming together. I have to say that concealer is amazing. It's a little light. The color I'm using is 360 Cashmere and I feel like if I went a shade up, it wouldn't have worked out as well because the shade, the next shade up was super duper dark and tan. So that's the only bad thing about it. Now we're gonna do the eyes. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that foundation and a Morphe brush and just stipple this on to the tip of the brush. And I'm just gonna do a little bit on my crease. For spring, I like to look very bronze and dewy, like I've said a billion times already. So just a little bit of this bronzer, this cream bronzer is gonna go a long way. You're not gonna need to like perfect it or make it look really pretty, but look at the difference. It looks very like bronzy and glowy. And this is just something that I really like to do because it's easy, it doesn't take much time. And then we'll make it pop by putting a little bit of a cream highlighter on in the center of the eye and under the brow bone. I like to put a little bit of that um, cream bronzer under my lip. I feel like it makes it look really pretty and pouty and a little bit fuller. I don't have lip injections or anything like that, so I fake the funk 1000%. I overline my lips. I wear a lot of lip gloss and that's just what I like to do. I'm gonna use the Kylie Cosmetics Pressed Illuminating Powder. So this is all um, cream highlighters, which I really have been liking. I purchased this not too long ago um, and I'm just gonna go in and use my index and middle finger and pop this right on my cheek. I'm gonna take a little bit of Getaway and I'm bothered still and go on my Cupid's bow and I'm gonna take a little bit of those as well and go on the tip of my nose all the way up the bridge. I'm not flipping you off, I promise. <laughs> so that tip to finishing off your eye look is just taking a little bit of that as well and just tap it on in and blend it with your ring finger that doesn't have any product. So next I'm just gonna get a little bit of those again. I've been using a lot of this product clearly. And just put a tiny bit under my eyebrow. And just so I don't get too much, I've been rubbing it on my thumb to get rid of some of the product. As you guys probably know, I don't do much to my eyebrows other than like brushing them out. I feel like I have really full eyebrows. I don't really have to do much to them. They're kind of crazy and all over the place. So I'm gonna go in with just a brow gel and this is the Maybelline Brow Precise in light brown, soft brown, sorry. And I'm just gonna go ahead and brush these babies. You can just wipe it off or blend it in with your, um, beauty blender or your real technique sponge let me know in the comments are you guys like a real technique sponge person or a beauty blender person I mean I feel like everybody is something different obviously but I just really like the real technique sponge it's like one of my favorites it's easy it's super inexpensive you can get them at TJ Maxx or Marshall's like it's wild. Like you don't have to pay $30 for a sponge that you're gonna throw away. I mean, that's just in my opinion. So that is the base of my face and I feel like this looks so pretty, so dewy, so clean, natural, springy, ready. That's not even a word, but there we go. And if you're wearing a shirt like mine, get yourself a little bit of highlighter. I'm just gonna dip into all of them, just all of them. The crazy thing about this is that you can see your fingers if you push into it, which is wild. So just put some on your, I think this is called your clavicle, right? I think so. Okay. So normally I do not wear lashes, especially for like a summer, 
spring-ish day, I go in with my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara ever, and it is the Voluminous Carbon Black L'Oreal Paris. This stuff is the, this is a mascara that I go back to regardless of what I'm using. I have used the Marc Jacob one, which I absolutely love, but I can't get behind the price. I cannot get behind the price. This is like $10, you can get at Target, you can get at Walmart, you can get at CVS. This is the best stuff. So, I go in with this, or if you want to look a little bit more glam, I don't have lash extensions because I feel like mascara does the trick for me, but you can also go in with a false lash. I like the Ardell Wispies, this is what they look like. They kind of look natural, but they're very glam, va va boom. And sometimes I like to cut a little bit of the ends off and just put it on the end of my eyelash to make them look a little fuller and crazy, but that's just me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara off camera and then I'll come back and finish up the lips. So I just finished up my mascara and I love the way this look is coming along. So this is beautiful. The only thing I did forget to purchase that is a cream-based product is a blush. And I am not the biggest blush person. I know I really should be. It's like the latest and greatest thing. Everybody loves blush. I really like this one from Tarte. It is called Party. And this is what it looks like. It's really pretty, not too crazy. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this on my cheeks. And I know I said that I don't love blush, but every time I put it on, I'm like, okay, I changed my mind. Cause I do like it. I don't know why I tried to act like I don't like it. So I love a nice nude glossy lip always. Always, always, always. I, have, I definitely have a type, like look at this. These are my <laughs> lip liner. So I'm gonna go in with 3C by Makeup Forever today because it doesn't matter if it's spring, if it's summer, if it's winter, if you wanna have nice, pretty lips, I think that you should line them. So this is my favorite lip gloss of all time, which I really should get into something else. I really wanna try the Kylie Cosmetics one, so let me know down in the comments which lip glosses you guys love. Let me know. But this one, I, I've been obsessed with it. I love it and it is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Hot Toddy. I also really love Dolly, but look how pretty this is. It looks like your lips, but better. I'm just gonna wear this one. See, this is so easy, the easiest look. All you need to do is line your lips and put this gloss on and you're ready to go. Like, this is crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Then the final step of this look is going to go in with any setting spray that you like. That is gonna be the secret to looking dewy and fresh and glowy this spring. So this is the final look for my glowy, glam, glitz spring look. That's a lot of G's going on there. I also wanted to say thank you guys so much. We have finally reached 100 subscribers and the giveaway prizes are going to be this really pretty Smashbox nudie pink and deep um, photo edit eyeshadow trio. The next product is gonna be the Smashbox Liquid Lipstick in Gotta Light. So it's like a, a darker nude shade, which I think this would be really pretty for the spring. And this is all gonna come in this really pretty cute Morphe bag. And I couldn't put in a Morphe bag without a Morphe brush. So I'm gonna give you guys the Morphe M 532 brush and this is a pretty fluffy highlighting brush to really hit that highlight you know for the spring we have to be highlighted and glowy and dewy and getting it together to enter the giveaway don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram turn on your post notification bell and comment down below what city you live in so I live in Los Angeles California so that's all you have to do is comment down below where you live your city your state your country if you're out of the country and you will be entered in the giveaway so. thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to enter for the giveaway thank you guys so much again for all your support and your love and for following me on this journey and I will see you in my next video bye